Yep, I'm taking out one of my favourite little toys. This is of course the pendulum for pendulum dowsing. I've been given a request for information and ideas about the accuracy and reliability of pendulum dowsing to do anything. Well, the bottom line here is, and I don't really want to have to bust your bubble, but there's no point in relying upon pendulum dowsing, okay? Uh, there's no point in relying upon any form of divination method. It's there to provide you with another form of inspiration, and occasionally you can get weird things happening. There are many people who do claim that they can get reliable results every single time, that they can find um, dead bodies or you know, missing persons that the police or the FBI or the intelligence services haven't been able to find, just purely with the help of taking a bit of stone and dangling it. If anything that has some kind of um, dangliness about them is that good at, you know, detecting where something is, then obviously they're someone who's a very special, very talented individual. I personally doubt that anyone is quite that reliable when it comes to um, using a pendulum, using dowsing rods or anything. But strange things do happen once in a while in a um, dowsing or divination type setting, which makes you think, well, maybe something else is going on here. That's as far as it can go. We have not and we cannot and nobody can bring this down to a hard and fast reliable science. I mean, I don't know whether I've mentioned this before, but, you know, I got heavily involved in all this weird stuff because weird stuff happened and I had, like, the astral projection experiences, I had the ghost experiences, I had, like, angel experiences and all the rest of that kind of weird stuff, which basically demonstrated to me that there was something going on. But I didn't quite know what it was. So I was one of those people who was actively out there looking for those people who were the genuine experts. But I came across a lot of people who would say that they're the genuine experts, but basically could not think their way out of a wet paper bag. And if they could think themselves out of a wet paper bag, um, they were using their skills of speech to try and control people for political power, money, uh, just the pleasure of power over and all other kinds of twisted, fucked up shit. Uh, which is why, although I regard myself as being a member of like New Age culture or communities or using New Age ideas, uh, I don't really see myself as necessarily 100% part of that m the movement itself. Because I'm not trying to sell a movement, I want people to think more intelligently about the phenomena that they are experiencing. Because, you know, as I said before, strange things do happen, and these strange things say something about us as humans, because we can have the, you know, the ability to have those strange experiences. And therefore there's an importance in trying to have them, trying to implement them and make them occur. But we still don't quite know what they mean. So as far as reliability, if, if you're the kind of person who would want to rely upon anything, of a divination nature, and I mean rely upon it. I think you better have a look at the way in which you're thinking about the phenomenon in question. Alright, it's it's bloody good to train yourself up with. It's great fun, seriously. And as I say, strange stuff really does happen once in a while. It's, and a lot of it will, you know, it can freak you out. But there's no proof positive. And out of all of the experts and all of the investigators, I haven't really come across a good quality argument or a good quality experiment or experience which has proven conclusively that this, that, and the other has happened. Now, I've had plenty of personal experiential evidence, but personal experiential evidence is only good as far as it can go. Namely, it is personal and it's experiential evidence, and it's nothing more, uh, more concrete than that. So, you know, get that in, into perspective. Don't Go off into a, a world of fantasy or just believe what some particular pundit on Coast to Coast said at one time or any other person on any like internet radio station or whatever because just because someone says that they are an expert doesn't mean to say they are an expert. And yes, I know, I'm setting myself up here on the internet as if I am an expert, okay? But, but I'm doing so with a different message and the message is that I know that there are things that I don't know. Therefore, there's no point in me saying that I have some kind of objective truth. And anyone who's got like a real brain in their head will be able to see that anyone who sits around and says like, I have, you know, the truth, you know, the answer, must be by their very nature talking out of their backsides, purely because of the, the variety of the argument that they're using. Okay, you've got, you know, to think about this.
if someone is that much of an expert, they should have enough, uh, you know, proper hard science behind them to be able to prove this, that, and the other. If, if they don't, then they can fuck off, basically. It, 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 sorry, I mean, forgive me for my bad language. Seriously, forgive me for my bad language. But I get very passionate when there's imbeciles out there who are destroying this movement which they themselves are a part of or lowering it intellectually to a level which is substandard. It's wrong. Quite frankly, wrong. It's deplorable. Alright? So, know where the limits of investigation are. Know where the limits of experience are. And know where the limits of um, ex explanation to other people. Okay? That, that's, that's essential. So, as far as, is there a concrete reliability to any form of divination tool? No. There's just strange experiences that we can have. Yes, with practice, you know, we just try and have more of them. Because it is curious, it is something about the way the world works. We are somehow a part of it. So it's like the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg. And we've got, we, you know, we, we're like God knows how many centuries away from even getting to the iceberg. Let alone the dark bit underneath the water. And somehow it's curious. I mean, for those of you who've had like real hard and fast experiences, give me, you know, some examples in the comment section. I'll be quite happy to, to, to talk about them. Or send me a PM with your experience and maybe we can just try and break that down. Um, and try and put some reality and, and ask more questions to it. Because I think that would be fun, it would be useful, it would be interesting. And, and I think that's the kind of people that you guys are. When people watch my stuff, they don't necessarily watch it because they just want to learn how to become a better believer. All right, most people don't, because after a while they realize that there is a skeptical message here, as well as a let's see what happens message. Okay, so just want to clarify that up. Play with it, and the more you play with it, the better it gets. Arrgh!